As we all know that inflammatory response due to COVID-19 may cause lung injury. During this pandemic, many studies have proved that use of corticosteroids may reduce or abolish the systemic inflammatory response in critically ill patients. The recovery trial performed in UK revealed that mortality in patients who were given dexamethasone for 10 days was lower as compared to those who were given standard care. This study was conducted on the patients who were in bad need of oxygen. The study further concluded that no benefit of dexamethasone was observed in patients who did not require additional oxygen. Now, during my clinical practice, I have seen a lot of hospital prescriptions where patients were given methylprednisolone instead of dexamethasone. Well, many physicians might be using corticosteroids other than dexamethasone due to shortage of this drug in our country. This is my own thought. Let us compare both of these drugs. The most common glucocorticoids used other than dexamethasone are methylprednisolone and hydrocortisone. Suppose we want to use 6 mg dexamethasone in a critically ill patient but dexamethasone is not available then which corticosteroid may be used and in which dose. This is what we need to explore now. Yes, some physicians may be using prednisone and it should be used in 40 mg or they may use methylprednisolone and the dose of methylprednisolone should be 32 mg and hydrocortisone may also be used and the dose of hydrocortisone is 160 mg and these doses will be equal to 6 mg of dexamethasone but from the knowledge of pharmacology we derive that dexamethasone has a half-life of 36 to 72 hours and it is given once daily while prednisone and methylprednisolone have half-lives of 17 to 36 hours and they are given once or twice daily in divided doses and hydrocortisone has shortest half-life that is 8 to 12 hours and this drug is given in 2 to 4 divided doses per day. Dexamethasone is not only superior in half-life but it has no mineralocorticoid activity so no or very less effects of sodium and fluid volume are seen with the use of this drug. Keeping in mind the adverse effects of all corticosteroids, the decision of using dexamethasone should be made early on the basis of risks versus benefits as it is obvious that patients with progressive COVID-19 disease requiring more oxygen support when given 6 mg of dexamethasone daily for up to 10 days their mortality was reduced and also in hospitalized patients on ventilation the benefits of this drug were widely observed and these benefits were documented by the researchers. I hope this will be of some help to my fellow physicians.